Ross, one of a, a really strange game, really. Yeah, five minutes ago, you're probably wondering how we've not got all three points, and at the end of the game, we're we're going away with zero. What are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, um, 90th minute, um, we can see the goal, and that's about it. I thought we dominated the game with the ball. Um, we created many chances, but didn't take them. We got into the final third often um, throughout the whole game, and. It's just those moments that um, are quite frustrating, but also pleasing at the same time. It's frustrating we're not taking our chances, but pleasing we're getting into the final third um, uh, many times. So yeah, it's tough one to take at the moment. It's, um, I'm frustrated for the boys because of the effort they put in. Uh, for 89 minutes, I thought we was dominant. I thought we moved the ball well. I thought um, we retained possession really well, recycled it really well. Um, great combinations in different areas. And it, yeah, just one moment, one corner, uh, and they put, um, a decent ball to be fair under our um, crossbar and and it just takes a fumble and ends up getting um, pushed in the goal so yeah hard one to take but um, loads of positives within the game but yeah as I said disappointing. It's a bit of a obviously the moods of disappointment uh, given the, the lateness of the goal uh, I suppose going forward really usually I'd, I'd say so we weren't we weren't great if you lost a game but we actually were quite positive going forward so where do we kind of put the it's a bit of a wrong terminology saying the wrongs of tonight, right? Yeah. But where do we go improving from here? Um, yeah, I don't think we did much wrong the whole game. Um, you know, as I was saying, on the ball we were really good, defensively we were really good. I think um, Chelmsford had a good 10 to 15 minute spell at the first half that they looked quite dangerous and uh, we weathered it really well. We got through that sticky spell um, and then we come through it with some really good football. And, and some of the stuff the boys should be proud of, but you know that doesn't mean anything when you concede in the 89th minute or whatever it was. Um, it's just one of those ones where it's just we've got to see it out. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take the point away. Um, the boys are disappointed as they should be because they put in a real graft tonight. Um, but again, it, it comes down to just one error of the game, um, and that's just cost us as much as possession we had and and the final third entries and all the play around the box and going from the back to the middle to the front, all the good play that we had um, done during the whole game. We didn't really have that cutting edge, and um, it was similar to last week. Um, we were getting in some really good areas, but we just couldn't find that last pass. So, encouraging that we only have to work on uh, a couple aspects of our game, um, but it's important we address it quickly. Quickly uh, addressing it um, next Saturday in FA Cup action, Salisbury um, in the league below, but no, no easy task. A potential banana skin there. What are your thoughts going into that one then? And, and, and I suppose the lads are just desperate to bounce back after after probably the two, la you know, last last minute defeats. Yeah, I mean, 90th minute, I think it was a 90th minute um, decision at Chippenham, 89th minute goal here. Um, yeah, listen, the boys are, that work so hard. Um, I'd be more disappointed if we stopped doing the good things that we're doing. That that would hurt me the most, is, is if we take our foot off the, uh, the pedal and and feel sorry for ourselves, that, that would be more disappointing. Um, so the boys know how I want to play. Um, the boys are executing it um, perfectly at times. It's just a couple moments within each game that we need to brush up on. And, and those moments are the deciding moments. So we need to learn quickly. Um, again, the boys are in good spirits now. It hurts straight after the game. They're in there getting a shower and in good spirits. And I think that it showed from the previous game, it was a hard one against Chippenham to take. Um, the last minute decision but I think anyone watching today saw a team playing with a real purpose playing forward um, and some of the stuff as I said was really good so to a man everyone was first class it was just you know an 89th minute um, moment that um, has cost us tonight so we need to take our chances but we'll move forward. I try not to concentrate on individuals but a uh, new signing coming you know straight into the team today in Josh and I thought he played really well especially after he's not played a senior game of football for over a year. What were your thoughts on his performance? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Exactly what we wanted to come into the team. Um, gave us a good platform, gave us experience, gives us a bit of know-how, um, kept the ball really well, had a few half chances, kept us ticking. And I think, I think we deserved something out of that game. Um, him especially, um, it's obviously a tough one, him coming in brand new and, and playing well and not getting anything from it. But he's an experienced boy, he's got many league games under his belt, so he, he'll know how to come back on this one. Um, it's, it's important we now rest up, Every, everyone's still together, we're in a changing room and we'll get back on the bus, we'll um, have a good chat and, and we'll move on. So we've got a big game on Saturday to prepare for. Yeah, Salisbury, what are your thoughts about them and what are your thoughts about how the game's going to go? I get very competitive, um, I think a lot of teams know, um, know about them and 
Um, we've done a little bit of work on them. So yeah, we're going to be prepared and, and full of energy leading into it. So it's important the boys sort of brush themselves down tonight. Have a good think about it because obviously it does hurt. But you know, as soon as we get on that bus, we need to sort of just get out of our memory and move forward. We've got a big training session Thursday and then we'll prepare for the game um, for Saturday. Ross, thanks very much for your time. Cheers.